guys and welcome back to Star of Substance and welcome to a slightly different video angle. If you guys like this let me know, I've cut off quite a lot of my the top of my head so it's a little bit weird but I thought hey, try something different. As you know this is a mini Zyra haul, I say mini, I had two bags in the um, thumbnail but I didn't get that many things so I decided to invest in more quality um like staple items for my closet that i would keep for ages and that, that basically they cost a little bit more but you get a lot more wear out of them which is kind of my wardrobe style just shifting towards really high-end um pieces from the high street and mixing them with kind of designer dupes um so yeah if you want to see what i got then please keep watching so i'm going to go into the smaller bag first and get those bits out of the way first even though i am very excited about them so um they pack them in a separate bag because they're quite delicate um so the first is a fragrance they're both fragrances um this is the zara femme fragrance um so i got it in the 100 milliliter size um and it was 7.99 now the thing i really like about zara fragrances is that they smell like really high-end designer perfumes let me open it up and smell it and tell you guys what it, what it kind of smells like so let's make this an unboxing shall we um, so it has this white packaging which is absolutely gorgeous um, and it's not a fragrance I've tried before oh look at the bottle oh I love this so that's the packaging kind of reminds me of the Narciso Rodriguez um, packaging all right Zara um, opens up like that um, let's spray it and see I don't think I'm ever gonna buy fragrances from anywhere else but Zara they just keep changing the game Mm. So it's kind of got a coconutty vanilla scent. I would describe it as like a coconut vanilla type scent, but I'm crazy about this packaging. So I'm really pleased I got that. I really actually wish I got it in a bigger size now. I'm kind of gutted. I might have to go back for another one. And then the next one I got is kind of a bit out there for me because it's not something I would usually try um, in terms of their fragrances, but I thought, why not? So it comes packaged like this. This is the red vanilla scent. I got it in the 200 milliliter size um, for no apparent reason <laughs> other than that's the first one I grabbed and it was $12.99. And I open it up. It's the box is kind of a like a very deep pink colour, almost verging on burgundy. Um, and I haven't seen what the fragrance looks like in color, so oh hello all right stepping it up um so this let me spray this let it air right mm, this is definitely a nighttime fragrance so i'm getting fruity but it's got a uh, like a deep it's like a deep fruity scent I'd almost say like a sweet black currant. Um, so yeah, Zara Red Vanilla and Zara Femme, two really new fragrances that I'm absolutely loving. I only smelt these on the counter. I originally wasn't going to walk away with them, but this one really caught my eye because it's something very different to what I would normally have. So got these two. Then the next bag is just clothing. So big bag. Um, I'm going to take out the first one, which is a dress. Um, and I'm going to try these on for you guys as well so you can see how I sort of style them. Um, so this dress, um, funny story about, the, well, no, it's really not that funny. <laughs> um, I went into a changing room with about seven items and I only came out with one. And then just as I was going to pay for that one item, I saw this dress kind of hung up and I instantly fell in love with it. And I instantly knew I would just like die for it. So it's this black dress. Um... I'm not sure what the material is, but hopefully it's on the label somewhere. No, they're not helping me out. Okay, fine. Um, so it's from the Zara Woman range. Um, I'm gonna say it's like a woven fabric. Um, with um, It's got a lovely um, sort of applique kind of detail across the bust, which is really pretty. It's short sleeved, so it looks like that. Um, it's relatively short, it's also got um, some little um, sort of frayed details 
um, in the middle there and then like lace detail at the bottom. It is relatively short but it's very classy um, so um, obviously you guys will kind of see quite ways of me wearing it and styling it with like um, a simple classic bag. Um, but yeah so this was uh, I think it was so it's 49.95 euros but you know they stick the like pound um the amount in pounds over the top of that which is generally more expensive um but this was i think it was 60 pounds but you can tell that it's really good quality um and that it will kind of hopefully last a really long time so i plan to wear this for like work like evening work functions so there's like an awards dinner that i've got coming up in the middle of september that i might wear something like this too um, I'm also going away at the end of September to Portugal because um, my mum has a conference out there in Lisbon um, and probably for the evening portion of the conference like the networking drinks and stuff I'd probably wear something like this with heels and a really nice bag so that's that and then the second item is something I've been wanting for absolutely ages so you know so I work in um, I don't work in the city but I work in a city like environment um, in Canary Wharf and everyone dresses really smart and I always really wanted like a cardigan slash jacket thing that I could wear that really jazzes up when I'm wearing my plain outfits so I generally tend to jazz up my outfits with accessories but because I wear my um, ID pass around my neck accessories and an ID pass it kind of becomes a bit too much so I was like all right I need like a either a really nice blazer or a really nice cardigan that would do the job so I found I'd seen these around loads and I just didn't know where everyone was getting them from and then I found this one in Zara so it's this gorgeous navy blue um, I'm gonna call it a jacket but it's kind of like jacket meets cardigan um, it's got this black and white um, sort of um, I don't know what to call it it's not stitch work but just black and white sort of fraying around the edges um, it's got sort of gold hardware um, some pockets um, two pockets on each side I believe um, and it has kind of the same thing on the sleeves but it just fits so so nicely and if I kind of pair this with some black trousers a white tee like on the inside like if I'm trying to like dress it up it would just look so nice so I love this I got it in a size um, I got the dress in a medium and I got this in an extra small because I tend to come up smaller in um up top because i have a small bust and a smaller torso but my shoulders are really wide so everything looks really weird on me so i have to get it extra small so it kind of cinches me in at the waist there rather than just hangs off me so like my shoulders are a size maybe like 10 12 whereas my waist is probably a size 8 so it's a bit weird um but yeah that's what it looks like that's what it looks like on the back but i'll kind of input stills of me wearing it and how to show you guys how i would style it but that's basically everything that i got from zara just four items um i think i spent um maybe 160 quid but probably these are things that will last me for a very very long time um so yeah that's it um i hope you've enjoyed my mini zara haul and i hope it has inspired some of your upcoming purchases we are moving slowly into autumn here in the uk so wardrobes are kind of changing so i wanted some transitional pieces to just chuck into my wardrobe that i could sort of wear as we move out of summer and into autumn Hope you guys have enjoyed the video subscribe if you haven't already give it a thumbs up if you liked it and link down below if you guys have been into Sara and let me know what you found in there maybe I might pop back in <laughs> thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video guys bye